They tag him for five hits and five earned runs in three innings. Castro goes down. My goodness. Oh. Right off the knee? Are you kidding me? Right off the right kneecap. Yeah, that's why he's buckled right there. Wow. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep replaying this while I look away. Man, mm -hmm. not the kneecap it looked like almost. Yes, it did. Done that plenty of times. I don't know if I've actually squared up the kneecap like that, but I've hit the inside part of my knee, which is a little bit easier as an infielder as opposed to a catcher who's going to have to continue to go down there and squat and put that knee in the line of fire. Yeah. Head athletic trainer Jeremiah Randall there, along with A.J. Hinch. I wonder if Jeremiah, the trainer there, would have rethought the shirt choice if he knew he was going to be on TV. What are you thinking, Pastel? I don't think it would have gone with a darker solid. Okay. I was kind of messing with my monitor up here. Wow, Castro's going to gut this thing out. Yeah, it's difficult if he has to leave, leave the game yeah. because the Astros would have to move Gaddis behind the plate and lose the DH. Well, I wonder if A.J. Hinch, an ex-catcher, walked out there and said, you do realize <laughs> <laughs> if you can't fight your way through this, I'm going to have some issues with my roster. And with all the storm of injuries lately. He's got injured guys on the bench. That's right. Jake Marisnik. Will hang in there. 